What's up guys, it's John V here with Phone Arena. So I just got in the Palm Phone. Yes, the Palm Phone. You guys probably read about this. This is that companion smartphone to your smartphone. It's available today. It's only with Verizon Wireless. It costs $350. And it's kind of like a smartwatch because it's not a dedicated smartphone. They say that it's mainly used for weekends when you don't want to be bothered using your smartphone. So this is an alternative, just like your smartwatch. If it is connected to the network, you'll be able to use it freely, independently from your regular smartphone. So this is the packaging. Now, Palm here isn't the same Palm. This is actually just like BlackBerry. It's owned by TCL. So they made this device. And like I said, it's $350. So let's get started with this unboxing. Looks like it opens up like that. And there we go. That is the Palm phone. They say it's the size of a credit card and wow, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this thin or this tiny, but that is kind of crazy. It is super compact. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of an iPhone 10 there. I'm not sure why, but most likely because of the arrangement of that camera right there. And also the overall build it looks very much like an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max. Wow, that is super tiny. So here's the phone. I'm gonna put it down here for a second. Let's see what else is underneath here. So in the box, we have consumer and safety information. Looks like your quick start guide, all that fancy stuff, all the stuff you need to know about the Palm phone. And in here we have what looks like a charging cable, which is a USB type C. So standard USB type C cable, got that right there in the box if you don't have one. And the other side here is just the wall adapter, typical USB on one end, plug into the other, and that's that. So your standard fanfare, I'd say. Let's turn on this guy, but wow, that is just crazy tiny. Power button right there on the side. Feels really great. I like the design. I like this concept. Now, I wouldn't mind having a phone like a standard smartphone, full feature smartphone this size. Um, I'm just a fan of smaller phones now. I don't know why. I used to like the big phones, but smaller is not that bad either. As long as it takes good photos, that's all I care about. So let's see here. So um, what else we have here? Looks like you have your SIM slot right there, camera on the back, as far as specs goes, um, let's see here. They say it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 435 chip, three gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it has 32 gigabytes of internal storage. There's no room for expansion. There's an 800 milliamp hour battery, which they say allows for roughly, I guess, one day of use. Um, and then it's running Android 8.1 Oreo. And um, it has a personalized interface that they say, uh, and it's complete with Google Assistant and also facial recognition. So let me just get this set up here real quick. Let's get this started. Now I played around with another really tiny phone um, over the summer. It was from this Chinese company. I'm trying to remember the name, but it was a ruggedized smartphone. I really love the form factor because it was a full featured smartphone. So not just a companion, it was a full featured phone with memory expansion. It was running full Android, had a camera, really compact. It was a rugged phone, so it was waterproof, drop resistant and all that. Uh, but the design wasn't all that great. Um, it's thicker, of course. But again, if we could have phones this size, I would not mind carrying it at all. Okay, so I got all that set up here. So here's the navigation here. So the, there's a home button underneath the display here. So single press is back, double press is long. Kind of weird, I don't know why. Long press gets you to the task switcher. So I gotta remember that. They should have, well, I guess you get used to it. So let's take a look here. Always show navigation bar, absolutely. Uh, let's do this. As long as your screen off, you will not be barred with calls. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's turn it on. Yeah, you won't receive phone calls when, you oh, no, no, let's, let's turn that off. I guess so, Verizon Plus. Okay, I don't have an account, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna skip that. Okay, got it, got it, good, good. Look at that, there we go. That is the home screen. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty minimalist interface here with the home screen. 
hey, it works because with the limited real estate you have the screen, that kind of makes sense. So I have this all set up here. I wonder, I don't know what my phone number is for this phone. It should be the companion device to this Google Pixel 3. They're both on Verizon Wireless. So I assume over on the account side, uh, they're both synced synced up so i guess if i get a phone call uh i guess both will ring we'll find out i'll find out okay so i got everything set up and this is what the interface looks like it's running an android 8.1 oreo customized experience because of the small screen it's not bad i can still make out some stuff and typing up is not of a problem especially if you use the swiping method with the gboard uh, keyboard i install that what was interesting though is that I use this for a little bit um, and I gotta say though, it's basically a full featured phone even though it's being marketed as a companion phone, something to complement your existing smartphone. So you're not as distracted when it comes to the typical apps you're used to using. So on the weekends, if you just need something for phone calls, text messaging, text messaging, this should get the job done. But like I said, it is a full featured smartphone. The other thing I noticed was that there is a SIM slot here and I removed it. You gotta use a really thin paper clip because it's not your typical slot here. I tried using one that comes with other phones, the SIM tool adapter, it doesn't fit. But anyway, there is a SIM card in there. I swapped it out for my Project Fi SIM card and I managed to get it to work, which is crazy because this is, I thought it was locked to uh, Verizon Wireless, but it, it worked. Data was working, I made phone calls, so it was fully functional. And this phone is available right now. It's $350. You could pick it up through Verizon Wireless or online through Palm's website, I believe. And because of the small size of the Palm phone, battery life isn't that great from what I could see. Um, if it's gonna be a weekend phone, it's definitely something you're gonna have to charge overnight uh, pretty frequently, uh, maybe throughout the day, because in my short time just checking it out, it seemed like the battery life just goes by very quickly. Um, again, because it's a small battery capacity in there. So if you guys want to learn more about the Palm phone, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. This is John V, signing off.